This ramp demonstrates what a 1 to 12 slope might look like. ADA recommends a minimum 1 to 12 slope for most passageways. That means that the ramp should rise 1 inch in height for every 12 inches in length. Residential applications can use a 2 to 12 slope ratio if space is a problem. Consider putting the ramp at the rear door if it's closer to the ground level than the front door. Use a tape measure to get the vertical measurement from the ground to the top of where the ramp is going to sit. When planning the width of your ramp, be sure to check your local building codes. For this home, we need a minimum width of three feet, not including the handrail. Please use caution with changes due to snow and ice. In areas where snow and ice are seasonal, consider a less steep incline of one to 16 if you have the room to make the ramp longer. Ramp supports should be set below the frost line. Alternatively, you can measure the slope using the edge of your smartphone and the clinometer app. Consideration must be taken if the ground is not level and slopes away from the rise where the ramp will be placed. Also, be aware that ramps used for walking by older adults should have a minimum of one to 12 ramp slope ratio and have handrails. Leave two inches between the handrail and the wall for knuckle space. Adults typically need handrails 32 inches above the ramp. Lumber used to build ramps can fade, split, or become discolored by exposure to ultraviolet radiation produced by the sun's rays. Some lumber is more prone to water damage, which could lead to a slippery surface, rotting, mildew, mold, and discoloration. So please remember to seal the wood properly. Extreme cold temperatures can cause wood to crack, split, and warp. The best decking material to use may be a composite PVC plastic lumber. This material is extremely low maintenance. It never needs to be sanded or refinished. It is also highly resistant to staining, decay, cracks, and splinters. Some decking materials available feature rougher surfaces for more traction. Alternatively, slip-resistant traction tape or strips can be applied to the ramp in order to reduce fall or injury when it is raining or snowing. Please note that ramps not exposed to full sun are more prone to develop mildew and algae growth, presenting a great fall risk.